Moving on from the previous module, we'll be covering in this module the overview of hydrocarbons, hydrocarbon groups in crude oil, the basic refining operations and processes, the working knowledge of basic equipment used in petrochemical industry, rearrangement of hydrocarbon chains, and the measure of conversion and yield in refinery. Let's take a look at what is involved in distillation. How does distillation work? <clears throat> distillation consists of basically heating a hydrocarbon component and then cooling it. In the process of heating and cooling, the different components of hydrocarbon get separated. On the left side, you see an illustration of a simple lab distillation where a flask containing hydrocarbon is heated on a simple heater and then the vapor that comes out from this heating is condensed by cooling it and the cool product is then collected in a flask. By the simple process of heating and cooling, you achieve the separation of different components of hydrocarbons. On an industrial scale, this is done through a distillation column. As illustrated on the right side, distillation column basically consists of a, of a huge uh, tower where hydrocarbons are heated. The heated vapors rise up through several, sub, uh, several uh, trays I've seen here. The vapor goes up from, the, from bottom to top and cooling liquids come from top to bottom. The rising vapors and coming down liquids are combined through these traps and different components are separated because of heating and cooling taking place.